Alright, hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar. We are in the middle of spring and today is Harmony Day. Will we get a present? Yes, we will. Um, I believe even if all the bachelors have black hearts with us, uh, we still get a consolation prize of cookies. So we just have to enter our house um, at the correct time. I think around 8. Uh, the first boy comes in, and then every hour after that, uh, we'll get a visitor after visitor until there are no more boys. Alright, little baby cow. I just like to watch it eat. <laughs> feel bad, like, interrupting it. Uh, okay, don't have a brush yet. And our crops are growing. I've gotta do some watering. Of the 54 turnips. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we remember to get all get all our cookies because there's not much that we need to do in the day. If we wanted to, we could wait until nighttime to water our turnips again. But I'm just gonna do the the five day the five day wait instead of uh, the four day wait. All right, water, water, water. So I saw all you guys' lovely comments on the first episode. You guys are we're. Uh, Keep it on the praise, and maybe if you're really nice, um, I feel kind of guilty though, because I'm like, hmm, what's this LP gonna like devolve into? So pretty much like, we're gonna be grinding for money the first phase, and then like the second phase is like grinding for affection uh, in order to get married slash see events. So I was like, huh? <laughs> Guys, made, made me feel like I'm doing something like super amazing, but like I'm just grinding. What? Thanks. All right, we're almost at eight o'clock, and we're almost done with our chores. Plenty of stamina to spare. Maybe we can get some more gold ore. If not, that's okay. Our turnips will be coming in hopefully tomorrow and then we can sell them at the bazaar. Alright. It is eight. Let's hop in our house. I think we have to enter through the front door. I know we have a barn side door, but entering through that side won't give us uh, the cutscene. Milan, do you have a minute? First visitor is Ivan. He's very early. Guess it is Saturday. I don't think Ivan works on Saturday. He, he, he's also a school tutor. Come on, it's Harmony Day today. I brought this gift for you. I already forgot what, what voices I gave you. Got some basic cookies. Well, I should go. Take care. I feel like I want to give everyone just like the same British accent. <laughs> uh. All right, let's put the cookies away. I can probably sell them at the bazaar too. Super fresh homemade cookies, perfect with milk. They're two and a half stars, so they might sell for an okay penny. All right, what do I want to do to actually kill time? Um, I have to actually be awake. I can't just like throw myself in the river and, and call it a day. I actually have to be awake. Awake for things. Uh, let me like update my bug list. I think I might have caught a few extra bugs slash other critters and I just like never marked them off. Tree frog, obviously I only caught two of those so don't need to really mark that off. White swallowtail, don't have the white morpho, pale cloud yellow, comma butterfly. The other butterflies I can get summer fall. I can get a purple brush foot from somewhere. And a velvet brush foot. I think I have to catch those in the hotel area though during spring. They pop up in other places during uh, summer fall. This is weird. They change locations, but usually I just look everywhere and hope for the best. All right, let me let me let, let's wait for next boy to come, and then maybe we'll work our way to the hotel and then work our way back. Going for a little walk. Little walkies. Do, 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 
do do. Nine o'clock. More, more tribute for me. You have a minute, Milan? Next boy is Dirk. I say, I always think that like Dirk is a bomb in this game because they, like, people make him like seem like he's a bomb and that he just like, like he mended his ways in Tale of Two Towns by becoming a mailman. But I think he does have a job in this game. He's he's a part timer at the cafe. Milan, it's Harmony Day. So here's a present from me to you. Cookies. Well, I gotta go. Take care, Milan. So happy. So nice. I do not throw the cookies. So the next boy comes at 10. We can go for a little walk. Let's go to the hotel. Maybe find, find those butterflies I'm missing. <laughs> Those two purple gold tier butterflies. Hey, what does that look yeah. like this? I missed it. I missed! As I'm like picking up other garbage. Probably shouldn't be picking up the other garbage. Um, I, It could stay in my bag for a little bit. Not gonna go completely bad in one day. I was like, alright, fine. I was like, if we're gonna do that, then I'll just pick up all the all the trash on the floor. Got me on my swallowtail. I already cut one of those before. They're yellow. Me for purple butterflies. Mint here. It's already 10. <laughs> it's already 10. I have to go back home already. Uh, I'll take a quick look. Quick look. And then I gotta book it back home. No shinies on these ledges. There's Kevin. Alright, let's hurry home. This actually might work out because, like, we'll get home on, like, the cusp of it being 11. So we'll just, like, run in and out of our house twice and get two cookies. Perfect. All, all according to plan. Alright, who's this? Milan, you got a minute? It's Lloyd! Today's Harmony Day. Harmony Day, you know that, right? Milan, this is my gift to you. I feel like- I feel like he's probably one person who wouldn't even give me obligatory cookies. Goodbye. He seems kind of, uh, brusque and rude. I feel like he he wouldn't give me cookies for a reason, but eh, they're they're nice in this game. It it is nice that we get we get uh like a gift even at the beginning because usually when you're playing like first thing you don't get to participate, especially if you're playing as a boy and like you need to make some like chocolate goodies, like if you're required to make chocolate cookies or something. You're like, you don't even have a kitchen at that point. And it's like, uh, I can't even, I can't even participate. And then if you're playing as a girl, you're like, well, I don't have enough affection. But yeah, it doesn't matter here. All right, 11. Milan, may I speak with you? 11 to noon? We got Angelo. It's Harmony Day. So I got this gift for you, Milan. For some reason, I want to think of like Angelo as like some French artist, but it's like I don't think I can do like a French accent. I would have to like practice a lot. Well, I'm sure that you're busy, Milan. I'll see you around. All right, and that's the last boy. There's also fifth boy, but we have not unlocked fifth boy. So we will not get cookies from him. We not get cookies from that who doesn't exist. All right, now we can throw ourselves in the river. Like I even did, didn't even find the butterfly I was looking for. No. We still need to find butterflies in year two. So we'll still be hunting them next year as well. Without further ado, time to drown. Yeah. 
do. Really? Nothing? Not not even a branch or a can to make me feel good? Something caught in our clothes. We got an ore stone. I really should break these open. You can make a lot of money off gems, and if you get like a combination of like gems and ore, you can also craft jewelry. Um, it does take a while for them to craft, and plus we don't have the appropriate windmill to make them right now. But I mean, it's an option. But I might have to like crack open the ore stones at like the beginning of an episode, because it might take some scumming to, just to not get a bunch of scrap. Bunch of crappy scrap. Alright, feel a little better, take a bath. I probably need to take a bath too. I need to wake up. I've been having a rough week. I feel like I've been coming home from work every day and just like staring off to the abyss, which it sucks because like I feel like once the day's over, I'm like, I didn't do anything. Like I didn't play anything, I didn't read anything. Like I felt like my day was just wasted, just just staring, just staring into the abyss. But I'm just like that tired. Okay, I'll go to bed. <laughs> I don't feel like passing out. I probably could eke out one more, but I don't trust my eyes. I do not have special eyes. Right, so yeah, everything else is just gonna stay in our bag. I could sell it to Raul. He is he is around, but we should have enough time hanging out at the bazaar to sell all our other stuff. I was good about saving. I believe we did everything we needed to do. Hey, the bazaar today. Maybe your store will get lots of business. We gotta hurry. I do want to actually go to the opening ceremony this time. Um, and since I am going to be out all day, I might as well put my cow out to pasture. All right, be free. Enjoy the fruits. Oh, my turnips are not ready yet. Hmm. I thought they would be ready by now. <laughs> Did I count wrong? <laughs> uh, maybe next time then. Actually, do I have other turnips in here? I do, okay. I'm just remembering wrong. I already had one harvest, this is my new harvest. Um, if I water quickly, then I can water a second time. At the end of the day. Let's go fast. water anyway <laughs> other than just like dying at work uh yeah i haven't even like really got to see any anime this week i'm just like coming back home from work and just like laying in bed i still got a i think a new episode of like that time i got reincarnated the slime came out we also watched like a really trippy anime i don't even remember the name but Guys might be able to guess it from the description. It was... I don't It, it was like some sort of acid trip. It's it like they invented like 7G like cell phone waves and they were going through this whole ceremony to like to turn it on. And then once they turned on the 7G cell phone waves, everything got really weird and trippy. And in like certain areas of Japan, like people turned into animals unless they were like... What was like the age cut off like 23 like 21 and three months and younger you, you stayed you stayed as a human but if you were older than that you became like some random animal I'm like huh. <laughs> and then there's these, these teenage high school girls like trying to go to the city to find their friend who they got separated from after the 7G cell phone waves turned on, and I was just like, you're really confused. I was like, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, this might be some... intense, like... intense anime that, like... <laughs> that really strains the brain, but I'm just not getting it right now. <laughs> I'll sell this. I have this milk that I will sell because it's or else it'll spoil. Uh, I think I will unlock a windmill though that will be able to turn that into cheese. Alright, that's good. I gotta go. 
I forget that, like, even sitting, like, staring at your storage does pass time. <laughs> or, like, opening the menu. I've done that before. Like, I just press X thinking that it's gonna pause the game and, like, I leave to do other stuff. And then, like, I come back and it's, like, it's nighttime. I don't know why I don't just, like, flip the 3DS closed, because that's what it's... That's what it's there for. Alright. Extra garbage. Still got a minute before the bazaar opens. There shouldn't be anything that we need to buy, but we can check out the stores. I think Raul has a seed shop. We can, like, buy some potatoes and cabbages, but yeah. The turnips are, are still the best, because we can convert it into salad and get more profit that way. I'll be number one. You got some great products today. <laughs> okay. All right, there are new animals up here. We got little sheepies and a big cow. If we want to get an adult cow, there is a benefit for getting babies. Uh, if you buy babies, uh, they start off with two hearts. But if you buy an adult, you can start harvesting it right away. Uh, harvesting milk. <laughs> not not me. We're not playing Shepherd's Crossing here. <laughs> Work hard today. Hello, Milan. You're up early. I like doing old lady voices. Sometimes I think my voice is gonna get stuck like that. I'm just gonna get stuck in old lady mode. Uh, cookies sell for six forty. I'll I'll sell. I'll sell the tribute that the men gave me. A little early. You won't get customers until the bazaar opens. I can wait. Sing. If you try to leave, like it'll, it'll be like, but it'll like throw your stuff back in your bag. But I will wait. I don't think I'll need the whole time to sell everything at our bazaar. But I'll try to stick around until the end, the ending ceremony. It's time to begin. Is everyone ready? We've got a lot of eager customers today. Don't let them leave disappointed. The goal for today's bazaar is to earn 15,000 15, to 20,000 gold. Good luck. The bazaar is now open. I don't, I, I'm not sure if I'll get that. I got like over 20,000 last time. Uh, because the gold ore pushed me over. But if I can get another 20,000 we'll be able to meet our bizarre goal and upgrade the bazaar. Ding ding. Ring ring, ring in the customers. I got cookies, I got sea urchins. Oh, the sea urchins are sold out. I got turnip salad. Come get your turnip salad. Because they're not even like farm products. There's hardly any people at the bazaar, so it does take a while to like ring in people. I guess I could do the shiitake. I know if I- I could probably cook, cook the shiitake into like steamed mushroom, but... I forgot if I need a pot for that. Alright, baby- the baby wants the mushroom, okay. Who gave this kid money? <laughs> it's like the kid got like a small allowance and like just blew it off. Blew it on some weird mushroom that some person was selling at their stall. Alright, thank you, old man. Buying the three turnip salads. Alright, cookies are all sold out. Ring, 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 ring. I have to put up a new spread. Not many people can line up when there's only one thing available. I guess we could sell this. I only got... Only got one milk. Come and get it. It's a hot item. Oh, we have a question. Um, excuse me. Do you know where the seed stand is? Uh, it's talking about rolls. Uh, it's on the lower side. Oh, I see. Thank you. I rep went up a lot. Ten points. Excellent. They're they're. Breaking away, you gotta bring him back in. There you go. There's some more people that come in. The, the lunchtime rush, here we go. 
Maybe they need, I need some more... Some more sprint. <laughs> come get ya, come get ya garbage! We got flowers, we got turnip salad. That's our, that's our gimmick right now. Grandpa, can, can you... If Grandpa looks at my turnip salad and asks if I'm like the gra if if he wants to talk to me because I look like my grand like his grandchild rather, then I will sell all the turnip salad and then I can just leave. Someone someone go after this. Alright, I don't really like putting out new stuff because it does make people break away. When you interrupt them like that and like open the menu, but also it does entice more customers if you have more stuff out. Come get your turnip salad here. Come on, Grandpa. Good. It's got a few more perishables to sell. Come on, Grandpa. Going, going for the flower, all right. Come um, get your turnip salad here. 330 big ones. All right, what do you want? Hey there, we're the famous comedy duo, <laughs> Lucy and Ricky. Thank you for inviting us to perform here today. <laughs> no one invited you. Where's Lucy or I've been expecting you. Uh, yeah, good old. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy and Ricky. Was it Ricky Ricardo? God, I remember so long ago watching I Love Lucy at my grandparents on their black and white TV. I mean, the show was already black and white, but man, that show was on all the time. Where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here? Where'd she go? I can't do this by myself. Come back here, Lucy. You got some splaining to do. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> reputation went up a lot. <laughs> Lucy? Wah. She always cried all the time. God, I remember like the- One of the popular episodes was like the chocolate- The one where she worked at like the chocolate factory and like... <laughs> the conveyor belt of chocolates was like kind of getting away from her. Um, so like she started like eating them. <laughs> to try to keep up. As they're like filing past. Yeah, it's like there's probably some channel that that plays that. Like plays that show. I remember like back when I was a kid there was there was always it was always on. Some channel had it on. <laughs> but I don't watch that much TV anymore. Everything everything's on the computer. Just like look Look up stuff. Hi, Ivan. Oh, Milan, there's a lost child. Who cares? Okay, no. Let's look for their parents. Oh, I'm so concerned. <laughs> yes, and they thanked me repeatedly. All right, rep their reputation went up. I think that wasn't the best answer. Best answer might have been the other one. I think I'm gonna get five points for that. Uh, do I have anything else to sell? Branches. Just selling the branches now. Scraping the b all right, child. Ow, 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 ouch. <laughs> I love, like, that's why you don't run. No, are, are you okay, baby? I I'm fine. I'm not gonna cry because I'm a big boy. So badly wanna, wanna just be like, see? Why we, you don't run, child? Well, they'll just get indignant if you do that. Looks like you're working hard. How are things going? Great. <laughs> Good to hear. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta make sure that we <laughs> happy smiles here. We only have happy smiles at this bazaar. God, you're sticking around here a lot, Ivan. Uh, alright, looks like you're working hard. How are things going? I guess great. Even if they ask you this, like, again and again, it still counts for your overall reputation, so... <laughs> Good to hear! I'm gonna get first place reputation at this at this rate. That's the type of positive attitude I like to see. Alright, three more. One more. Okay, I'm gonna get 20,000 as long as... As long as they keep coming. <laughs> 
can't wait to like upgrade the bazaar too, because uh, as your bazaar levels up, we're like at zero percent right now, but at the next tier, twenty-five percent upgraded bazaar. Uh, you do get more customers like filling in, so stuff will fly off the shelves a lot faster. All right, twenty thousand. I think we we've met the goal. We've gone above and beyond the goal. Get your turnip salad here! Not exactly the snack I would want to eat, but... <laughs> I don't know, we don't, we don't really have, like, turnips. Turnips aren't really a sought-for item. Here. Alright, you want three. I really have nothing else to sell you, so you guys must buy the turnip salad. Come get your salad here! Nutritious, nutritious, rooty salad. All right, it's gone. <laughs> you sold all the items you had on display. Uh, I guess I'll take a break. You met the goal. That's great. Cool. All right, so that should get us to. We sold over forty thousand gold worth of stuff. That should upgrade the bazaar to the next level. Uh, do I want to buy anything? Here's what you have for sale. You have tea. Welcome to my cafe. Strawberry tea, milk tea, strawberry wine. I got a lot of drinks today. In case we're very thirsty. Or want to get really drunk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink alcohol if you're thirsty. <laughs> Just make you more thirsty. Uh, here's Wilbur's carpentry. I think I might actually buy something here. Uh, <laughs> what voice did I give you? Nice to see you. Welcome to Wilbur's workshop. Order work. Uh, I don't have enough money to get another field. I think that's 30,000 gold, but I kind of want to expand my storage. <laughs> like, I got one page of storage. I need I need some extra help here. Expand the storage allows you to store more items. You need 10,000 gold. Yes, I can afford that right now. Expand the storage. I'll have everything done by tomorrow. <laughs> I think we can only get one upgrade, too. Like, you can't, you can't order more. Or can I? Sorry, I can I can't do any more work on on that this week. Yeah, I can only do one job one job a week. I guess it's fair. His Lloyd's expensive or or stand. I think we will need to get some of these. One of those is for upgrading the hoe, and then the other one's up for upgrading the watering can. And then you usually need copper, a combination of copper and like lumber. To upgrade the fishing rod, and then like you'll get you'll get different tiers of fishing rods. Like there'll be a short one that you get first, and then you probably don't even have to worry about the other fishing rods until much later. Because I think that medium one unlocks in year two, and then the long fishing rod upgrades in like year four. So it's like don't even need to think about that for a while. But yeah, for like the short one, you need copper. The medium, you need both copper and silver, and then the long one, you need copper, silver, and gold. Lloyd's wares will increase as well um, as we upgrade the bazaar, so he'll sell more ore. Um, and then it gets more difficult to get some other ore as well, because since it's like a rotating shop, like, hey, say you need like some copper for like an upgrade, and like, you just get unlucky and he just doesn't put out the copper for sale. You either have to like save scum or check again next week. Alright, uh, actually I'll go take a bath. I do want to hang around for the closing ceremony, but maybe I can get like a last minute piece of gold. Um, that's, that's kind of a mega hopium there, but you never know. Oh, my turnips are ready to water again. We'll do that when we get back. Just gotta take a bathroom break. There's no bathroom, there's no porta potties. No porta potties at the bazaar, man. That's a no-no. <laughs> Think having any sort of festival, you need you need places for people to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, and places for people to like rest and eat. Maybe even like a nursing station as well. Or else, yeah, something. <laughs> people will probably just like. Start going to the bathroom in other places that you don't want. Hey. Right. Hey. 
plus the bazaar. Eight. 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 The bazaar club is at Eight. seven. Yes. This is. I don't know if I'm like being dumb. Yeah, it's still going on. At like six ish though. I find like around like s between like six thirty to seven. People usually don't like buy your stuff at the bazaar, so I usually use uh, that like last 30 seconds to just break away from my stall and just buy whatever I need because like usually I don't like the NPCs don't like even approach your stall in those last 30 seconds, no matter how much I ring that bell. I might have flubbed up because I still need some stamina to water those turnips, but I think I'm okay. I think they're actually going to be ready tomorrow. How you doing, Felix? Oh, right. <laughs> uh, yes. We want to buy some stuff from you. We got a brush from Felix. Equip it and use it on animals to brush them. You can't brush chickens, though. I'll buy that. Nice purchase. I'm sure it'll come in handy. And the hammer! I want to get the hammer because then next week you'll sell the axe, I think. Yes, because last week we bought... What did we buy? We bought, we bought the sickle. And then once we buy the sickle, he sells a new tool. And then we buy the hammer and then he sells a new tool. Good. Okay. Whew. Rough week, guys. Like, forgetting, forgetting simple things. Good thing I checked. Look, I can sell items to you. Man, I never even thought about selling items to you because I could do that at rules or at my own stand. Yeah, I totally forget that it is an option. Alright, so we got a hammer we can use to smash rocks. And ore stone, so we can finally break open these, these ore stone. Oh, he's closing down. He's closing the gates! Well, that's it for the bazaar today. Thank you everyone for coming. I hope we'll see you all again next time. All right, and then it gets all dark and spooky, and yeah, everyone, everyone leaves. Everyone's closing up their shop, although the animals are still out. Yeah, there's like no more, no more selling, no more buying. Although there's still an NPC out. All right, let's head home. Let's head home. Put our cow away. Hopefully, they're not, they're not too far away. Go to bed and see where our turnips are at. Where are you? Uh oh. Uh <laughs> Okay. Sometimes I hide behind trees. All right, good. Go. It's so fast. It slips past you. There, I can I can brush you now on a daily basis. I love you. Love you all extra. I don't think that's gonna bring you to three hearts, but little things, little things count. We we have uh, the cow festival happening next month. I'm hoping I get, like, enough to try to scum a win. Uh, alright, let's go to bed. No saving. Not until the end. Hey there, how are ya? It should be our storage upgrade, right? It should be Wilbur. I finished up that job you ordered at the bazaar. Go check it out, okay? See you later. Thanks, Wilbur. <laughs> Love his gruff laugh. That always sounds like a little, like a rough fellow. All right, I got two pages now. I can put stuff in. I, think I can put my hoe away. I think I can put the hammer away. But I am gonna be using my watering can on like a daily basis, so I better keep that. All right. The results of the bazaar are announced today. Yeah, let's go hear the results. We better, or else we won't. 
the bazaar won't upgrade to the next level. Great, looks like everybody is here. It's time to announce the bazaar results. Our top three earners in third place with 12,400 gold. Raul, congratulations. He sold a lot of seeds, so a lot of bags. And a lot of gardeners out there. In second place with 17,600 gold. Wilbur Store, congratulations. 10,000 of that is my money. <laughs> Buying a storage upgrade. And in first place with 24,370 gold, going way beyond the, the goal of between 15,000 and 20,000. Milan, congratulations! Yay, I did it. <laughs> why, why are you threatening me? Next time I'll win, so be prepared. You're <laughs> gonna break my legs, sir? <laughs> Claire, you're the one who needs to prepare. I, I know that. And the person with the happiest customers was... Wilbur, the customer said your service was top notch. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pull in enough customers. <laughs> Oops. Uh, should have gotten like at least second place reputation though. Well, when we get more people, obviously more more people will ask us questions and our reputation will go up. Although the bad side to that is sometimes they ask for free stuff and you're like weighing either turning them down or losing out on money to get the reputation. You've done all the town proud. Keep up the good work. For being in the top three Milan, we'll receive a token of thanks. A milk. I hope you like it. I better. Now our bazaar is best bazaar, bazaar in the region, too. There will be more stores at the next bazaar. My daughter Sherry will sell seeds. Okay, I think Sherry sells... She specializes in tree seeds. So once we stop growing turnips, uh, it might be good to just buy some trees from her because I won't be using the field after that. Plants like grapes and tea that don't need watering, so they're a great buy. Yeah, especially if I'm if I'm no longer gonna be using the field, I might as well use it for something that I don't even need to water. I'll have many seeds to choose from. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with everyone. Hardware and furniture stores are planned too. We have two more stores in mind, but we'll announce those later. The new goal for our bazaar is. Largest in the country. In the country, you say? So I think the next goal for largest in the country uh, is a total of... That's the wrong one. Wrong tab. Bazaar. Oops. Bazaar. Uh, best bazaar in the country. I think it'll <laughs> wait. We need a total of 450,000 gold. So it'll be a while. Uh, we'll be making little baby increments working towards that goal of 450,000. All right, largest in the country, eh? That's a, that's a tall order. Our goal for the next bazaar is 40,000 to 50,000 gold. We can do it. So that goal in the middle there, it's, it's pretty much just to give you a goal to like, in case you wanted to win like the prizes. Like, oh, if, you, if I really wanted to win that milk for getting, for getting first place. <laughs> Like, like, get in between there or above that, and uh, and then you'll usually place and win win a prize. But we need a lot more in order to get the best bazaar in the country. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. All right, chop chop. All right. Next bazaar happens on Saturday, so it's not going to be delayed by a birthday or a holiday. It is Sherry's birthday today. If I wanted to give Sherry a gift, I don't know if I have any easy gift. If it was Ivan's birthday, I could just give him an herb and he's happy. Uh, but Sherry... Sherry likes more cooked stuff. She likes lots of salads. Her favorite is herb salad if we had mint chamomile and a lavender. Uh, or we could buy some like random salad from like the cafe maybe. Yeah, she likes she likes tomato salad, mixed salad. 
Uh, onion salad, pasta salad, potato salad, capri, capri, capri salad. She also likes other stuff, like certain tofus, um, okara, porridge, likes a lot of those. But easiest to remember is like salad. Was that Joanne's birthday on the 18th? But yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna spend our money on them. Sorry. No, no spoiling of the people. I think I might leave you inside. It's really annoying to get you in. Uh, okay. Ooh, spring 16th. This is actually kind of a special date. Um, there are rival events in this game, but you can't activate them on, like, the very first. I like my turnips are done. I didn't even need to water them in the evening. That's good. But yeah, like, you can't activate the rival events, like, right away from out of the starting gate. You have to, like, kind of wait a few weeks. I think we can activate one of them after spring 16th. We might we might actually wait around to do that. Let me let my cow out. <laughs> I'd rather activate them early because if I get um, people's affection up a little too high, then they get then it just becomes a problem to activate. And even though I'm not going to be gifting people, I still will get like bonus affection from doing festivals and also the bazaar. I remember I, I think I actually got Angelo to like purple heart by doing like absolutely nothing but i kept complimenting him during like the fall bazaar he just he wouldn't stop coming to my stall <laughs> and like i just kept complimenting his art and eventually he got purple heart and i, I didn't do anything <laughs> like he just he approached me so yeah we'll try to activate a rival event today and yeah, some of the other ones we won't be able to even trigger until like late summer. And then after that, the next rival events after that, uh, after the black one, the black ones can be triggered sometime in year one. And then it follows a similar trend to other Harbor Spoon games where like the purple one can only be activated year two or later. And then blue is year three and later. And then yellow is year four or later. Uh, but even ac after activating the fourth one, they won't get married in this game. It's just for your viewing pleasure and <laughs> wishing that they would get together otherwise. No, nope. everyone remains lonely, except for Main Farmer. It kind of sucks, because I really like to see couples get together. All right, so we need to buy more bags. I think we might be a little short on the dinero right now, though. Hey, hey. I have to sell some bugs. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah, we, we splurged. We splurged a bit on that brush hey, hey. and on that hammer and on that storage upgrade. I guess I didn't need the storage upgrade right away, but I just, I just wanted it. Come here, come here, you little. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can't catch them all. Hi, Antoinette. Huh? Oh, it's you. Good morning. Hello, blue-haired Dia. I, I just see. I look at her and I see Dia. <laughs> like she just looks like a very light blue-haired Dia. Uh, how many can I buy? 38. How much can I sell? Alright, we're just gonna plant, plant what we can. And that'll be, that'll be okay. I think we got a fairly good head start. Hi, Claude. Going to work in the morning? 
Uh, not even up. I didn't even give him a voice. Good morning. You're up early. I'm gonna I'm gonna make Claude just inexplicably Russian. Even though uh, Antoinette does not have an accent, <laughs> we'll just pretend. We'll just pretend uh, the father is Russian, but maybe, maybe her mother. She got her accent from her mother that we never see. Hello, Kevin. Morning, Milan. You look sleepy. I'm always sleepy. That's just my normal state. Alright, I don't know. How many bags I can squeeze out of Raul? Can't get that much money. <laughs> Can't get that much money. Look at that jump, girl. With those, with those twig-looking limbs you have there. That's an impressive jump. Water is kind of magical. I could stare at it forever. Do you know what I mean? It's magical. <laughs> can't, can't, can't do a lucky, a lucky splash. Ooh. Shinies? I don't see any shinies up there. Hello, Angelo. Oh, good morning. I'm always sleepy in the morning. I don't really wake up until noon. <laughs> the freaking slide is like, uh, shivers. Maybe it's, uh, it's the butt drag across the, across the dirt floor. And it, it hurts. Can afford one more bag. <laughs> My boy. Unless I found a gold and I was like really desperate and just sold it to Raul for five thousand. Okay, let's let's just put these in the ground. Watch them. Hey, hey. Swallowtail. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. Come back here. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, that I feel like is a little unfair. It probably got spooked hey, while I was hey, yeah, hey. trying to get the other butterfly. I feel like. I went after it fairly quickly. <laughs> like when I saw it. Any bugs or hoppers? Sometimes they come out of like the bushes over here. <clears throat> Sometimes the hoppers also come out of your crops. So some of them you might have to you have to plant stuff. Oh yeah, I got a little weird graphical thing happening on the edge of my 3DS. 3DS, you better not break. I actually did see that loopy. Uh, did bring back the capture card for the 3DS installation, which is good because then, <laughs> yeah, people can people can buy more capture card for for the 3DS. Although I don't intend to have this one break. It's not cheap to get one. But it's reassuring to know that. If this one does break, I'm not- I'm not high and dry. I guess they'll have an option to get a new one, or maybe just ask him to fix it. This one's not really broken, although <laughs> one time I was using the thumbstick and the thumbstick slid off, but I popped it back into place. I'm just like, hmm. It's like, I was like, well, it's better than drifting, but my- the, my other 3DS that I play casually, that thumbstick drifts, so I can't play any game that requires a thumbstick. It has to use the D-pad and the other buttons. Ugh, I need to find... A, I either need to look up a tutorial about how to clean and fix those button parts, or I need to find someone who can do it. And yeah, 
I feel like I don't trust myself. I feel like I would just mess it up. But I know. I know if I practice enough at something, I would be able to do it, but. I don't know if I want to practice on my 3DS. My watering can is filled. I guess I could take a bath and just throw myself in the water. I could look for more bugs. We got like four more minutes until we can trigger this rival event. It felt good. Felt like a nice warm bath. My, I'm probably gonna... Take a nice warm shower. I don't have a bath. I do have a bath, but it's being used for <laughs> it's being used for my cat. It's like a cat feeding area. And it's so tiny. God, I remember when I was little when I was a kid, the bath felt like the bath felt big. But now it's not big anymore. I'm big. That's the problem. I remember taking bu like bubble baths as a kid. It was really fun. I'm just a boring adult that takes showers. Nope. Dang it. This <laughs> like in the, it's in the in between. In the loading screen. Can't get it. Oh well. Just gonna let it go. And what else has been happening? Uh I did actually get some figurines. I forgot that I ordered. Um yeah, good old. Good old good smile. <laughs> the the Nendrides and pop-up parades, if you like pre-order them, like when they announce them, you don't like see the figure until like a year later. And I totally forgot that they were supposed to come in March, but instead they came in April. The month late. Uh, but better late than never. I got an Irima from Welcome to Demon School Irima kun Nendo. Which I don't have a lot of Nendos. I have to be careful that I don't like buy too many. I have Zelda. I like I bought Zelda Nendos. I have Majora's Mask Link Nendo, Breath of the Wild Link Nendo, and Breath of the Wild Zelda Nendo. <laughs> I keep telling myself like don't get into any anime characters. Just get video game characters that you like. Because I know if I get into anime, it just like won't stop. But I'm like, you know what? I like Iruma. I'm gonna get Iruma kun. He's my cute little boy. I, I love that anime, so... I can't wait for, like, the next season to come out, which it should come out probably next year. There hasn't been any word, any announcements, but I feel like it... I feel like it's popular in Japan, but, like, weirdly enough, not popular in the West, though. I haven't seen, like, that many people doing, like, fan art of it. When I went to Anime Expo last year, I didn't see anyone, like, making merch of it. I was like, this is really weird, because, like, it's, it's a really good show. <laughs> but, like, it's not popular, like, as popular as some of the other, like, animes out there. But I got a, I got a Nendo of that, and then, since I'm so obsessed with Ascendance of a Bookworm, I also got a mine pop-up parade in her little shrine maiden outfit. He's so cute. <laughs> I just want to want to like take him out of the box, but I don't have like a lot of shelf space, and I know if I if I leave him in the box, I'll be a little more more protected. Uh, but usually, I don't keep boxes. I might keep mine in the box because I feel like the pop up parades are not really articulated. I know, girls. Hi there. What are you doing? Well, on shouldn't you be like working? That's what adults do. Um, hello. I bet I see something shining on the bottom of the river. Like this? Jump in the river. <laughs> As the two girls just witness me drowning. But yeah, I feel like the pop-up parades, since they aren't articulated, they probably might break a little bit more easy. But I could probably take the Nendos out. And I usually put the extra face plates in like a Ziploc bag, and then I put that bag in a box in a Tupperware that I can easily stack and then I forget to put the name on the bag so I'm like whose face is this and then I have to guess 
I'm mixing up Zelda and Link's face. Yeah, I'm not getting which bug I'm looking for. No. The old people are having a nice little look outside, some fresh air. They can't be working the counter all the time. Good afternoon, Milan. You look well. My husband loves this spot. His favorite spot. Looks at the windmill and the bushes. I really don't see that. I like it's just a view of like a bush. Alright, all right, oh, all right, old man. Hi there, Milan. Mm, the wind is nice today. Maybe he likes to like this and like the sound of the rustling leaves. The wind always stirs up pleasant memories for me. Hey, yeah. Me and my dear Ethel. Oh, Ethel's such like does sound like an like an old person name. Hey, 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 yeah. hey. Like all those out out of fashion names, Ethel. Hey, yeah. Elma. Hey, yeah. It's like I'm trying to think of other ones, but then I'm just like thinking of meet evil ones. I'm just like, yeah, those are probably out of fashion a while ago. Antoinette, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many people would name their kid Antoinette because she has such a bad reputation in history of just, you know, getting beheaded. Usually you wouldn't want to name your kid after someone who got the guillotine. Although I could be wrong. Sometimes I learn some like little history facts and then like... Someone's just like, actually, like, she was actually executed this way. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess the guillotine was like a little bit more sens sensationalized. More, more bags. And buy one more bag. <laughs> All that effort for one bag of turnips. Yeah. Not worth it. Alright, let's put these in the ground. It's almost six. We can activate this rival event between 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then they can activate it Monday or Tuesday, so either today or tomorrow, and then the weeks after that. It has to be sunny, cloudy, or snowy. We're not gonna see snow until winter, so. And it can't be a bazaar day or a festival day, which is neither of those today. Good. I might not even need turnips after this. Once I sell these at the next bazaar, I might opt in for a different option. <laughs> Actually, I might have to do turnips one more, one more week. Oh, look. This is a hard event? Is this Dirk? Yeah, it's not Sherry. Although Sherry's first heart event is in a similar situation. Yo, Milan! Hi, Dirk. I wasn't expecting you. I was, I was aiming for a rival event and I got a heart event. Hello, Milan. I was just talking to Dirk here. It sounds like... It sounds like cats just don't like him. Uh... Dang, Sherry. I mean, it's true. Maybe you approach them too fast. You gotta... The cat's gotta have to come to you instead of you come to the cat. Well, you don't have to be so blunt about it. I was working at the cafe when a cat wandered in. I tried to get him to come to me, but he just ran away from me no matter what I did. Then Marion calls him and the cat practically jumps right into her arms. Maybe he maybe just like some, some animals just like men or women more. <laughs> Uh, they, just, they just trust trust one gender over the other. Sometimes it, it might matter like who their owner is. Like they just find people who are like similar to their owner. And I was being so nice. What gives? Well, it's not yell. Milan, do you like cats? I love cats, or and not really. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it seems like the really wrong option, but yeah, the right option is I love cats! I mean, I have a cat. I cuddle with my cat all the time. And my cat cuddles with me. I'm 
sometimes I want I, sometimes I want some space and she's just like, no, let me sit on your head. <laughs> Darn straight, I love him too. Those plump paws and those big round eyes. I love them, man. Okay, we're gonna start touching those plumpy paws. But the cats, they all just run away from me. Why? <laughs> Why? As he screams out into the world. That's it? That's the event. All right, that one also happens six to eight on a Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, I was not looking for that one. I was looking for this one in the hotel area. <laughs> Here we go. This is the rival event between Daisy and Angelo. Hello, Angelo. What are you up to? Oh, oh hi. <laughs> oh, hi, Daisy. Oh, hi, Mark. I'm sketching this tree. Oh yeah? Can I take a look? Sure, it's a little rough right now though. I need to work on I, I I need to work on like a new accent. Wow, you're an amazing artist, Angelo. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you take a shot at drawing Daisy? I'll bet you'll be good at it. I'd love to draw my grandma and grandpa, but... What's wrong? I've tried to draw before, but I'm really bad at it. I gotta, gotta practice. I'm bad at trying to, but I don't practice, so... Like, I stay bad at it. It just looks like I'm scribbling. Don't worry about technique and quality too much. What matters is the emotion behind it. Everything else will come with practice. I'd love to see one of your drawings, Daisy. Really? Hearing you say that kind of gives me confidence. If I do an okay job, can you take a look at it? <laughs> of course, I can't wait. Right, that was their first heart event. An unlikely pairing between a hotel maid and an artist. Hey. Hey. I think that is it for the day, I believe, though. I need I need to do some rest. Oh, they're, they're hanging out together. That's cute. <laughs> like, during their time off. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to know them a bit better, but yeah, they do hang out a lot. They, like, eat sweets together. It's, like, a very, like, unlikely pairing. Like, some pairings, like, like, Freya... Freya and Ivan kind of make sense, because they, like, travel to work together. And, like, they probably got to know each other that way, because, like, one's a school tutor. I think Freya is either a teacher or some sort of researcher, because she talks about research, like, all the time. But... He, goes into the city along with along with Ivan, so they have a long walk together. <laughs> I just wish that time wouldn't fly by so fast when I'm relaxing. So it always seems to fly by fast when you're relaxing and then goes agonizingly slow when you're working. <laughs> Something about this spot makes me so feel so relaxed. <laughs> Got to chill out. Around in the river. Finally, I got something in my clothes. A coin. Rip. Ah. I just actually put my cow away. I think about it. It's like, mm, my cow might need to go to bed. I don't want to have him out too late because your cow does get upset. Or did I put the cow out? In any case, they will get upset if you try to push them around while they're trying to sleep. Where you are, right there. I probably did not forget about you. No, go down. There it goes. Zippy, zippity doo da. It just like runs hilariously fast. I just used the restroom. I don't remember if I've used the restroom already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ja. Let's use the rest of my energy. Tomorrow. We'll go through the week pretty quick. Next episode, just to get to the next bazaar. Um, hopefully, if we get some gold... That's a mega, mega hopium there, but... If we get some gold, I really want to buy some cooking utensils at the next bazaar. If not, then I might just use the proceeds of my turnip salads just to buy, like, one more round of turnips in the field. Got a tea can. And then once summer hits, uh, there, there will be no crops in the summer. Because I can grow radishes, but the profit turnover doesn't feel like it's worth it. Uh, I do want to buy some cooking utensils, though, and now that we've got the bazaar at 25%, we're the best bazaar in the region, there should be another store that pops up. Shen's store that will sell... Um... Depending on the season, during spring and summer, they should sell seaweed. And then in uh, fall and winter, he'll sell rice. And you can get either of those items to cook, and then you, you pretty much flip it for more money. <laughs> and then we'll do that until we finally get the, the cheesiest method in the fall. Which some people have already guessed what it is, because I think it's a popular method. It like kind of breaks the game a bit. Like late fall, I think we unlock the grinding windmill and then we can we can grind for grass seeds. Uh alright, so everything I can I can fit this in here. I upgraded my storage. Oh it, it does say one out of one pages, but I think if we Yeah. It it only shows like how many pages we actually have if you like fill it up to capacity. We have two pages. Better, better than one. Okie doke. Uh, I'll probably end up taking more tools out. Eventually my cow will grow up. Anyway, this is just babbling at this point. Um, so yeah, I might. There might be a little gap in episodes because, yeah, to be honest, like this week has totally kicked my butt. Uh, not because of like making videos. It's just like work has like totally kicked my butt. I have to like cover a bunch and yeah just like my energy levels are just like meh, down uh but i do have some like extra cutscenes that i recorded off screen um they're from uh, mostly the boy's perspective because I, I played i played the boy character first uh so i'd have rival events for all all of the all of the characters i have like 95% of the heart events for the bachelorettes. I'm missing one. I just need to grind out the last one. But I have heart events for them. And then I have like 90% of the red events. <laughs> so I think like when I'm not feeling too well, um, I'll just post um, like some cutscenes. Because I did notice like some of the cutscenes on YouTube. They're like 10, 15 years old. They're looking a little crunchy. Um, so they'll just be... There'll just be no commentary, uh, but it'll just be like the cutscene for for people who just want to like view it, view it like outside of the game. So I, I like did that a lot too. I, I would just like look up look up cutscenes from like Harvest Moon games, um, just to see like how they played out without having to like grind it out myself. Or if I wanted to see like a career cutscene in A Wonderful Life, I remember I liked. I like seeing those, but like, not all of them existed on YouTube. <laughs> I like tried to get my own. Still haven't gotten all of those. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are still having a fun and relaxing time with all the, with all the grinding. <laughs> you guys, it's like seriously though, like I was like reading the comments on the first episode, I'm like, you guys are so excited. I'm like, and I, like I got, I was getting really worried because I'm just like, this is just gonna be a grindy game. <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like I like I don't want to disappoint you guys, but like, yeah, it's like I'm gonna be grinding money, and then I'm gonna be grinding affection, and like that's gonna be the game. But I guess that's what you signed up for, because that's like that's what Harvest Moon is. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. 
Uh, bye bye.